Chapter 18 After logging out of the game, Wang Miao turned his attention to observing the cosmic microwave background radiation. With Ding Yi's introduction, he was able to meet Ye Wenji, who in turn connected him with her student Sha Rushan. Sha worked at a radio astronomy observatory on the outskirts of Beijing, where his lab continuously monitored real-time data from the cosmic microwave background. This radiation was the cooled remnant of the Big Bang's primordial heat, stretched over tens of billions of years. It manifested as centimeter wavelength radio signals, which, though exhibiting tiny irregularities in spatial distribution, were not expected to undergo any significant changes over time. When Wang Miao explained that he was looking for variations on the order of 1%, Xiao was dismissive. Shifts of that magnitude, he said, would take at least a million years to occur. Yet at one o'clock in the morning, the impossible happened. Just as Shen Yufei had predicted, the cosmic microwave background exhibited fluctuations greater than 1%. When these anomalous signals were decoded through Morse code, they resolved into the very countdown that had been haunting Wang Miao. Xiao was utterly bewildered. After ruling out equipment malfunction and satellite interference, he admitted that disturbances on such a vast scale should be directly observable. He explained that with a pair of specially designed dark lens, 3K glasses, developed at the observatory, one could actually see the cosmic microwave background flickering. Following Sha's advice, Wang Miao returned to the city's planetarium to obtain a pair. Putting them on, he looked up, and with the naked eye, he saw the cosmos itself blinking.